We all want to have healthy skin. So as we take our wellness approach, let's look at our wellness strategy and follow that. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. Our wellness strategy starts with first uh, stop poisoning ourselves. So as we apply it to the skin, stop poisoning the skin. Here's where we come into a little bit of a challenge. The skin is the largest organ. It's exposed to the outside world. And one of the biggest issues in our modern world, and this is not true in, you know, in, in ancient times, but in our modern world, we've got a lot of fat soluble toxins that are now in the environment and hitting the skin. Well, the reason this is a problem is because the skin is covered in a, in a thin layer of oil. And what happens is that when it contacts uh, these, these, these industrial toxins, it basically wicks right into the system. So these fat soluble toxins, and these are things like plastic residues, pesticide residues, um, especially synthetic fragrances. Uh, this is really bad, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a link in the in, in the comments below for the video that I did about the what you know get rid of these synthetic fragrances um, so these things are put in the air and they're they're actually have chem chemically been been altered to actually be a little bit sticky and so these things land on the skin and be, become a, you know a, a, a big issue they're also laced with phthalates which are hormone disruptors so watch that video uh, about getting rid of the most dangerous toxin in your house, which is synthetic fragrance. Okay, so anything that's sprayed or put on, uh, but but I'm talking about really these things that we can't we can't avoid. Essentially, I mean, we want to try to minimize the exposure. So there's definitely some things that we can do, and and it's like, okay, let's do what we can and be aware of the fact that we are getting toxified no matter what. Okay, and this is our modern world. If, if, you know, all these people are talking about climate change, great, fine, I'm more worried about toxicity, okay? So I think if we all focused on toxicity, we would take care of most of the item points that people are talking about for climate change. Um, so let's get rid of the mercury, that gets rid of the coal-fired power plants because they're the biggest uh, polluters of mercury in terms of the air. So this is what I'm saying is, it's toxicity, folks. Okay, we are we are creating a toxic waste dump in our biosphere, and it doesn't look like anyone's taking this seriously. Um, and these are the things that, as we get a higher and higher and higher toxic load, the skin. I mean, this stuff is just coming on to the skin and and either getting trapped in that fat layer and creating problems right at the surface if the stuff is too big to get through. Or, like I said, the skin is a protective layer. It's supposed to be protecting us. It's supposed to be keeping out the stuff that we don't want. Um, not only is it a physical barrier, but but a chemical barrier as well. So it's got a, a layer of fat. Uh, I mean, so, yeah. So a layer of oil, fatty fatty oil that you know the greasy stuff, and then the and we'll talk more about the glands and stuff that secrete this. But you know, all the surface of the skin is uh, is on the very surface of that oil, and then underneath is dead skin, and the dead skin. Uh, is there also to protect and give a, you know a little little bit of distance between that and the bloodstream? Obviously, the very surface of the skin isn't getting any bloodstream; uh, it's got just dead protein keratinized skin, uh, skin cells. So, the the thing is that when we're spray, I mean, for sure, let's not be deliberate. I mean, let's not deliberately toxify ourselves using bug spray and spray deodorant, spray hairspray. Uh, laundry that is, I mean, the clo our clothes sit against our skin the whole time. Laundry that has toxins in it, especially fragrance toxins. Um, it, you know, please get rid of these spray uh, uh, fragrancers, you know, in the house. Um, these are things that are coming in on, especially if it's something like a personal care product, coming in on a daily basis. And we wonder why we have trouble with our skin and then with our health in general. Like I said, a lot of these fat soluble industrial toxins tend to be hormone disruptors, tend to be to influence the body even if it's only subtly. Um, and so if you look at the, uh, so the Environmental Working Group did a study that showed that it's really not the individual toxicity of the chemicals, but when you throw a 50 or 100 of these all mixed in, you end up with problems at the cellular level that are uh, moving in the direction of cancer. That's what they. That's what they showed in the uh, working group, um, the environmental working group. Maybe I'll, I'll try to find that link as well. But um, 
this was the study that was done uh, like 10, 10, 15 years ago. It's not be getting better, folks, okay? And this is the toxicity in, in babies even, right? So babies are being born with uh, all these toxins in them that are just, part, and they're low grade, very small amounts, but when you start loading up a whole bunch of these uh, toxins, it starts having an effect. And again, it's maybe subtle. How many people have low thyroid? How many people have, it's like, so all these little endocrine disruptors, all these little things just getting in there and, and creating a problem. It overwhelms the system. So anyway, the skin is one of those things that um, it can be an, a, an, a portal avenue to come to, for these toxins to come in. And like I said, we can't necessarily get away from, from many of them. They're being dumped in, in an industrial scale and we need to be politically active to say, okay, look, we're gonna stop, stop ruining our bed, okay? This is, we, this is where we sleep, right? Even animals don't pee in the place where they sleep. Here we are chemically peeing in the place that we sleep. I mean, we're, not, we're, we're worse than animals in this case. So, um, okay, so it's a bit of a soapbox, but the reality of it is, I mean, this is what we're dealing with. Now, if someone is sensitive and on the more sensitive scale, then that really tips them over the edge and they end up with really big problems. And so skin problems, if someone, if your immune system is overacting, then you get these foreign material in there that irritates the skin, creates some inflammation, the, the, and, and this is this whole inflammation and autoimmune um, connection and cascade. If you don't have enough antioxidants in your skin, something we'll talk about tomorrow. Uh, yes, something we'll talk about tomorrow. If you don't have enough antioxidants in the skin to deal with the inflammation that, or, or to deal with the, the free radicals that are coming in from these toxins, then, you know, so we'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, okay, so what do we do? First, obviously, stop poisoning ourselves, avoid it, okay? And, and some of these things, these avoidance things are situations where you have to actually make a decision that is, that is for your health and, and can be unpleasant socially. In other words, you're in a context where you say, I have to leave. I cannot be here for these fragrance devices. I mean, if you're going to use that, I'm leaving. Um, so where does this come in? You know, the, the difference between essential oils, and this is where essential oils have to be pure, folks. You cannot have synthetic, chemical, chemically derived essential oils. You could have a, a beautiful essential oil blend that is got authentic oils, expensive oils, and then someone adds one of the oil ingredients that are perfume synthetic, and it ruins the whole batch. And I've seen that many, many times. Uh, one of the rarer oils, harder to get, ends up being synthetic, and so the whole thing is ruined. So very important to, you know, you're putting oils in the air, you're putting oils on your skin, you gotta make sure these things are, are real. You gotta, gotta make sure. that. So that's why we only use yellow ink. But anyway, um, these, we, we gotta work at, more diligently at identifying what's a situation where it's gonna be impacting our skin and therefore our health. Um, certainly if you're starting to have reactions, and, and we'll talk a lot more about reactions, um, but you know those are the outward signs. I'm talking about you know, things that you're just accumulating. It's a low grade amount of stuff, and we're not really registering that. And it could be stuff in the air, like I said, new carpet. We we had a situation where we went into a um, a it was a brand new uh, church hall, and they had put you know new carpet in, and we couldn't be there for more than ten minutes. And it just you could the new carpet. Uh, out gas the off gassing from that new carpet was so toxic and we had toddlers and sensitive toddlers and it was after about you know I don't know how long we were in there maybe I mean I really think we weren't in there more than 20 30 minutes at the most and I I had to get out of there because I was like okay I gotta leave so I mean it was a hundredth birthday party of a family member Amy's great grandma um, and so it was, uh, it was, you know, important for us to be there. And it was a little bit, I had an excuse. I had the toddler, so I went ahead and, and walked out. Well, later on, I, when I changed him, he had red, uh, irritated skin everywhere. His lungs, you know, it was showing the exact outline of his lungs. I was shocked all the way around, white spot in the middle along the sternum, and then all the way around the outside and white spot with the spine. So he didn't have it, but he only had it where the lungs were. It didn't go past underneath. You know, I was shocked, I couldn't believe it. So those toxins were coming in his, the, his little body and his lungs, and it, they were just putting it right back out on the skin. There's your secondary detox or for, detox mechanism for you. So the skin, um, I call it a loft, but the, the skin is 
something that is getting exposed. It's, it's an outward line. It's fat soluble. We're getting exposed to these industrial fat soluble toxins that come in and they come in through the oil and we wonder why we have trouble getting uh, having having healthy skin. So we'll talk about some mechanisms uh, as we go along here for, for maintaining healthy skin. But first of all, I just really want to impress upon you that the, the these fat soluble toxins, um, which tend to be small aromatic compounds, plastic residues, pesticide residues, spray, aerosol type things, anything that's in the air for sure is gonna be in that category of small, you know, easily absorbed, uh, easily is sticking to the surface and then ending up uh, absorbing. So if you do get exposed, okay, go, go and bathe, go wash it off uh, as quickly as you can. Please, 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 I know last month we talked about laundry um, and changing over a laundry detergent. If you haven't done that, please do that. This is your clothes and your stuff that's on your clothes. And then looking at, at actual real, uh, uh, real fibers, you know, get cotton clothes, these synthetic plastic nylon uh, clothes have their own you know, chemicals that are associated with the production process that aren't necessarily washed off. Um, and so it's, it's, and then there's microfiber things that are starting to happen. This is more physical, these little microfiber clothes and these little tiny microfibers are getting into the skin, working their way in. Uh, and so, and they're getting in the environment and poisoning uh, fish and, and poisoning the water supply with these microfibers. So there's a lot of different um, factors about this, the way we live, that we're not being good stewards. It's not good stewardship. And, um, and so this is something we do need to pick up a notch or two or, or quickly. Uh, but the more of us who are aware, this is why I lot of do a lot of awareness, and I know we haven't done any breathing right now, but you breathe in and become aware of your body, then you will become more aware of the reality of what we're doing to ourselves, and then it becomes an important issue. The reality of what's happening. If we're, oh, well, I don't feel it, so it must not be happening. Hmm, no, because you're not feeling it because you're not very aware. So body awareness and aware of our own body becomes the opportunity to be aware of the environment. If you want to change the environment, help people become more aware of their environment, of their internal selves, and their emotional and spiritual environment. If you, can't, if you don't love yourself, you're not going to love anyone else. If, if you don't care for your body, you're not going to care for the environment. So that's my spiel on that one. Okay. One day at a time, folks, start making these things. This is the, uh, I know this is the unpleasant talk, but it's the avoid the toxins, stop poisoning yourselves. You know, these are not, this is hard because you gotta, you gotta take steps out here that, that are, you know, sometimes hard, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Every little bit counts, okay? One day at a time, happy wellness.